this, I saw this meme, right? And it was like, it was the Joker. Y'all ever seen the Joker meme when it's just his face? And it's like, everybody sees hundreds and hundreds of snakes in rack systems and nobody bats an eye. But you have a ball python in a 20 gallon breeder and everybody loses their mind. What's going on guys? Look, let me tell you something. I've been around snakes my whole life. I love them. I have a, such a passion for snakes. Well, honestly, for all wildlife, reptiles especially, but then you narrow it down to snakes. And it's crazy. You know what? I have literally six snakes right here around me, kind of on a chair. You can't see one there and one over there. And they're hard to see here, but I'm going to show you, I promise. But the reason I'm doing this is because you know what I have. I've been I've been I've been doing snakes my whole life. I've kept some together. I've done things like this. I've taken them outside and had them hang out and do this. Uh, I've had boas together. I've never put python python. You know that python. <laughs> I've never I've never put boas and pythons together. But I have. <laughs> hold on. But I have put, you know, I've had a couple of large boas that I kept together, which was a, a red tail, the original, the gangster, the OG red tail boa, and an Argentine. I had them together, and, and you know, and I would never put like a corn snake with a boa or a milk snake with a python or nothing like that. But then you start getting into these groups, and all, of a sudden, all these people are like, dude, what are you doing? You're an idiot. You can't do that. But why? Why can't I? Because... I've been doing it for I don't know how many years and, 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 and on and off and, and not all the time. And it's not because I, I, I don't have money or space or I'm an idiot. I just I, I guess I just don't understand. Like there's, there's somewhere along the line before social media came out and all this stuff that somebody's Googled it and said, you better not put snakes together because why? So let's talk about that. First, I mean, look at this guy, right? I mean, there's the Royal Ball Python. Then I got my my blizzard not albino my blizzard corn snake hanging out with my other ball python you know there's stathena just chilling out somewhere mixed in there is stark right there whoa, whoa, whoa. and then it's like you look up there and there what's up my dog hey hey i wonder if i can pitch you look don't be don't be jumpy don't be don't be look that tongue coming out like can i eat it or is it just daddy getting on my nerves <laughs> But it's also so cool, right? Because you do, you hear like these guys and 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 these guys when they're younger and, and, and sometimes even the ball pythons, you know, that they can be nippy. And I'm not saying that they can't. All I'm saying is, is that I feel blessed. I feel blessed that I can sit here with these snakes and first of all, they're not biting each other. And second of all, they're not biting me or Colton. You know, obviously y'all saw him, but he's crazy. But man, I mean, it is just so cool that I can be sitting in here in my kitchen and enjoying in my opinion, the coolest, most beautiful, God-given abilities of an animal in snakes and enjoy it. Ah, right, now back to what I was saying, right? So you keep these guys together, and, and I do, I see, I mean, even myself, I've been literally banned in two Facebook groups, because I didn't know, I was like, look at this, I got a, a snake on my head, a snake around my neck, keep up, baby, and then bam, I get, <laughs> I get banned, and I was like, what is going on? And then I start seeing these groups like, no showing pictures or videos of snakes together. What the world? For what? My God. I'm just trying to show you how my passion and my love for these guys are. I get it though. I try to be, I try to be open-minded, right? So there is a disease, the IBD disease that, that from what I understand, pythons can give boas. Okay. But let me tell you this, in all the groups and all the questions and all the stuff that I've seen, I have literally asked in every one of these groups, has anybody ever seen it happen? The answer is, uh, blah, blah, <laughs> right? Because nobody wants to tell you that they've never seen it, but that it can happen. My God, if we lived our lives around things that could happen, even though we've never seen it, my Lord, we'd never leave the house. Am I wrong? I, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. It doesn't matter. My point is, guys, look, I'm not saying that you should or shouldn't do it. All I'm saying is be careful monitor it, watch it. Obviously, I don't put boas and pythons together unless they're having a little... <laughs> Thor is the bad one. I don't know what happened to Thor here lately, right? But my point is, it's like little play days like this. It's okay. Putting some boas together, and if you look in the right places, it even tells you that you can keep boas together, pythons together, but monitor it, okay? Because you just want to make sure... <laughs> you want to make sure... 
that obviously they don't strike each other or, or have any kind of issues like that, right? I, you guys have seen, feed my snakes outside the enclosure. I would never in my life suggest feeding snakes in their enclosure together unless they're completely spaced out, which you see some, you know, like some, uh, some venomous snakes and things like that uh, that you don't have to worry about. So, you know, you, you don't want that kind of thing for sure. But as far as that aspect of the, the disease, um, I don't know. I've, I've never seen it. I've never seen it in all my world. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But monitor it. I don't understand. So that was one. One. One one thing. Right? I'm going to talk about a couple because I just want to tell you guys. Honestly, I just want to get my snakes out. I'm going to give them back. We need to clean it. Rephrase that. The wife needed to clean the enclosure. So I said, hey, let's get the snakes out, man. Let's have some fun. The second thing that I've seen, right, I'm just telling you guys, like things that I've seen, right, is, is they compete for heat. Mm, I, I, I don't know. You know, like, don't get me wrong, I do have some heat pads and I try to keep it under their hide just in case. And you can see that going about. But for the most part, I would honestly say 90% of the time, they don't compete for heat. You know, it's not one snake's on and the other one's like, uh, excuse me. They, they, don't, they don't think like that. Snakes aren't like lizards, you know, like the tegu. They, I don't feel like they have that intelligence to say, uh, Larry, hello, you've been on the heat pad for 30 minutes. It's my turn. <laughs> they don't do that. What? What? And first of all, your whole enclosure should be warm enough. Yeah, there should be basking spots and things like that, which I have, right? They can get up on top of some of their, uh, their driftwood and things right under the light. Then they got a heat pad in their enclosure. Then they got water and they have all this. But very rarely do I, honestly, do I ever even see them in the same place? And when I do, it doesn't ever seem like it's, it's stressed, right? Because that's the, that's the other thing I'm going to get into, right? Is that it will stress your snake out. Hmm. Let's, you know what? Let's ask an expert on what stressing a snake actually means. Hey Google, what does it mean if a snake is stressed? Thor everybody. Yeah, look at Thor everybody. All right, so like 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 <laughs> Google said, right? So they'll be hissing and they become a little more aggressive, which I still don't think snakes are aggressive, but it doesn't matter. Aggressive or defensive, it doesn't matter, right? They become striking. Well, you know what? My snakes aren't that, as you can clearly see. Um, when they become stressed, they don't want to eat. Uh, as you've seen in all my videos, my snakes eat like some superstars and will probably eat way more than I give them. You know what I mean? So, uh, and shedding and this and that and, 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 and look it up, right? So then when you look at the facts, right, of, of what people say that this will stress your snake out, what am I, what am I missing? Again, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to go against the grain. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm not saying that, that, that maybe some people have put snakes together and, and they have stopped eating or become aggressive or then they never struck and now they do or they struck. Maybe, maybe, hey, maybe they struck and now they don't. You never know. My point is, is quit listening to some of this stuff. Man, if you have a true passion and love for your snake, then I'm... We want to trust that you have the best interest for them. Yes, don't get me wrong. There are some people that could use a little bit of help. Look, I do my best not to cuss, but y'all ever want to be like, well, they ain't in the wild. They ain't from the wild. They weren't born in the wild. They ain't most part, right? Then for the most part, these dudes were probably born in captivity. It's not like you said, you know, you took Larry out the wild, right? He's been roaming thousands of acres and doing what he wants. Look, DJ's like, boy, I will bite your finger. Look, he's about to strike my finger, right? But what? Get out of here. It's not like I took him from thousands of acres and then all of a sudden, what are you doing? Why are you smelling my hand? Hey, look. See, look, his tongue came out smelling my hand. It's like, is that food? Nope, just daddy. <laughs> boy, you better back up. Quit playing around. We ain't messing around. Look, Thor was like, I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> but see, I would never put Thor with him. I just wouldn't. That's crazy. If I put another snake with DJ, it would be the snake of the same size. I do do that. I will tell you. So a couple things, right? I try to keep snakes along the same size. If I do it together, the same species together. Watch them. Be careful. You want to make sure I monitored my two boas because honestly, I thought Stathena was going to eat <laughs> dark at first the wife's like don't do it don't do it don't do it oh my god oh my god oh my god right but then you just realize they just don't care they just don't they don't care that's just not how they think so uh 
I hope you guys got a little bit out of this, man. I'm telling you, honestly, it was just awesome video all in general. I'll give you guys a quick little run through of all my, my boys and girls. Um, obviously, he's the biggin. He's the biggin. I said, what's up, dude? That's so awesome. Love that, dude. I can, they can never get that, that tongue come out and taste in the air and finding out what's going on. And, you know, I, I mean, it's just so sweet. But, man, I mean, like, you got to love these dudes. The God-given ability. Hold on. I'm going I'm to ask my, uh, my snake specialist what he thinks. Hold that. My snake expert, Colton, what would you tell somebody that maybe doesn't know that much about snakes? Some snakes aren't venomous. Some snakes aren't venomous, but some are, right? Yes. And so the snakes that are venomous have what kind of teeth? Fangs. Wow, dude. Good job. And snakes that aren't venomous, what kind of teeth do they have? Teeth that hang on to you. Like teeth so when they bite their prey, it hangs on? Yes. Good job, dude. And do you love snakes? Yes. Awesome, 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 awesome. Big thumbs up, buddy. Guys, how awesome is that? That just goes to show, it truly goes to show that the fear of snakes starts at home. And I can't wait to get hopefully a business going where I can educate and teach so many about the beauty. Dude, you're rude. The beauty of these guys. I mean, like it just doesn't get any better than this. I love it. I hope you guys love it. And if you don't, I hope you guys get a little bit out of this and you just can truly see that Snakes really aren't much to fear, and I do get it, and I understand, and I have a video coming out about the fear of snakes, which will be really cool and really awesome, and I hope it can help some people uh, get past that. But until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. It was a pleasure filming. God, getting these guys out, you got to love it. And guys, let me tell you something. This is just me. It ain't about, oh, this dude doing this. This isn't like I'm doing this for YouTube. <laughs> let me tell you, this is me all day, every day, and I hope. Y'all have a wonderful day. Till next time, baby, from Divine Reptiles. Hit that subscribe button. Show some love.